Right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakradash. Double honors to, you know, the, the teachers of our apostles, the men that came before them. And of course, our uh, double honors to our apostles and as well as our elder bishops of Great Millstone. You know, peace and blessings unto the 144,000 and the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. There are two groups of people that the entire earth is sick and fucking tired of. And we already know who they are. It's the so-called white man. Biblically, his name is, uh, well, they, they're, they're the Edomites, and they go back to their forefather Esau. Okay, when you read Genesis, the 25th chapter, it goes into, it goes into uh, the birth of Edom, or Esau, which his name became Edom once he ate that uncooked stew. Okay? Then you read in, uh, I believe, Genesis 36. You go to Genesis 36. And there's other uh, places you can go, but Genesis 36 is coming to mind. It tells you about uh, Edom. You know, Esau, Edom, Mount Seir, and all of that. All right? So the earth is tired of him, okay? Because of his pride, his, his pompous um, mentality, his destructive nature. I mean, everything's wrong about him. That's, that's why the scriptures call him the vessel in Romans, the ninth chapter, the vessel uh, onto destruction. And also, he's also called the man of sin. All right, and there's one other in, one other group that the whole planet Earth is fucking sick and tired of, and they come within the same spirit and the same nature because you know, and that's Eve or. The so-called black woman, which they really go back to the tribe of Judah, okay, but you, we can't, you know, we're not going to call them Judites, they the so-called black woman, the nigger woman, you know, the African-American woman, a complete disaster, right? And the same things I just said about Esau apply to her, and, uh, this group. Of uh, can't even call them women, females. All right, they're proud. They do. They have destructive nature. They're nasty. All right, everything's wrong about them. Their spirit is totally off. They worse than the so-called black man, by far. The scriptures say all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. How about that? Now. I'm going to uh, use these two women. These are supposed high profile professional um, women that are part of this system. All right. On the left, you have a woman by the name of, uh, and she's all in the, in the news right now. She's all over the YouTube and the, uh, the media. All right. For being a disgrace. They really mocking her, you know, and I, I like I said, I'm not going to get into the fine details on it, but I will kind of give a uh, service level uh, info on what's going on. I'm sure brothers have seen this stuff already, you know, <clears throat> but her name is uh, Fanny Willis. She's the district attorney of uh, Fulton County in Georgia, and, you know, she you know, started this case against uh, Donald Trump for committing fraud, blah, 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 or whatever. And the judge threw her um, her case out, and now she may be facing uh, charges for finding out that she's been uh, mishandling uh, the, the, the taxpayers' dollars, okay? Going on trips. Uh, her and this guy, uh, his name is some, uh, Dwayne, can't think of the guy's name right now, but her and this attorney that are, uh, working together or whatever, all right, 
they under uh, investigation. It's really her, all right? And <clears throat> there's a video of her when she's on the stand. Well, she first off, she barged in the courtroom, demanded to take the stand, and then sounded straight like the nigga woman when she got up there. She didn't sound professional. She didn't put on a class act, none of that. And she's stupid. She says she went to Belize and some other countries in South America, and she says she didn't even know where she, she didn't even know where they was at. And I believe she really didn't know. What a stupid, stupid ass fucking black woman. Acting like they so educated and smart. Fucking black woman ain't smart. If they were smart, they would close the shut their mouth, close their legs, all right, and get up under uh, the energy of a, a, a actual man. Not these weenies out here, but a man. You know? And uh, I believe she divorced her husband. She's sleeping with uh, the guy, the attorney guy that... Um, that they investigating has been committing fraud with her and like i say i'm not gonna go all into the details or, what, or whatever but just giving you a, a a rough draft on what's going on she's right now she's under investigation you know um and facing charges you know for stealing and, and misappropriating uh money you know and only the lord knows what she did with it but i'm sure she went had a good fucking time with it all right, and then the woman on the right, her name is Tiffany uh, Henyard, if I'm saying that correct, and she's the uh, mayor of Dalton, uh, Dalton, the city Dalton in uh, Illinois, okay, and she's under investigation for misappropriating monies, uh, the tax, you know, uh, tax dollars, all right, or uh, city money or whatever. Not tax dollars, but I don't, I'm not sure if it's tax dollars, but uh, city money. She's under investigation for fraud and uh, using money to go on trips and shit like that. And these women are in high-ass position, mayors in, uh, in this system anyway. And now Esau that you made, a, uh, you made a pact with way back when he came in the form of the serpent um, is turning his back on you. All right, the shit, everything was working out for you at one point. Now look at you. You look like a hot mess in the earth. All right, and when I seen that video of the woman on the left, uh, Fanny Willis, Fanny Willis, and how she was talking, man, it was absolutely disgusting. I'm like, damn, is this a chick from the hood or is this a a DA, a district attorney? You know. I'm like, wow, how the fuck did y'all, how these, they just, how the fuck did they get on these levels? I mean, we know how, by being a goddamn hoe. All right? Like I said, I'm just highlighting them. You know, this applies to the so-called black woman. And they in the news right now, you know, as well as all this other shit going on in the world. I just want to touch on this real quick. I want to hit this, uh, I want to hit us some scriptures. Over here in Isaiah the third chapter. And I love the title. Uh, when you get to the 16th verse of Isaiah 3. Look at what it says. It says Judas, Judas women denounced. Now let's look at this word denounced. And you can go on the uh, etymology online dictionary. If you want to get deeper into the, uh, the definition. But check this out. It says, denounce. It says, you know, uh, publicly declared to be wrong or evil. You see? Because that's where you get the word announce. Is when you make something public. Okay? Matter of fact, I like to, I actually like to see what it says in the Etymology Online Dictionary. One second. All right, so I pulled it up. And it actually uh, does go back to uh, announce. It says um, <clears throat> directly from Latin, de nuni, de nun tier, to announce, proclaim, denounce, menace, 
command order uh, from D down plus Nuntier proclaim. Okay, basically to proclaim to go down, you see. That you're going down. You see? And let's get off this. We can go back to the scripture. So it says right here, Judah, Judah's women denounced. Basically, it's the announcing of their downfall. Just like Esau is going down, the so-called black woman is going down. And when the uh, um, time of Jacob's trouble come, oh, they're going to they gonna catch it the worst. They the weaker vessel. It makes sense that they catch it, catch hell the worst. A lot of them are going to be put to death. A lot of <clears throat> women in general are going to be put to death. And especially that so-called black woman. All that loud mouth. And she got in there. She was snap rolling her eyes. And with the hand gestures. Disrespectful hand gestures. And snap moving her neck. And all that shit. And she thought it was going to get her somewhere. I mean she went in there like. Okay I'm finna fucking shut this shit down. And the judge said, get the fuck out of here. Oh, I mean, he let her run her fucking mouth. Then he told her, you off the you shit. The case closed. You know, you can't, and no case on Trump. No more are you pursuing Trump. Okay? Now, let's read this. I'm going to run through this quick. All right? This is uh, Isaiah 3 and 16. It says, more over the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and it's talking about Judah, all right, um, like Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, okay, the southern kingdom women. It says, haughty, what's, the, what's haughty? I'm not going to get every word because it's a bunch of juicy words in these verses. Just another way of saying proud. Okay, and this uh, goes back to Strong's H1361. The Hebrew word is Gaba for that word haughty. And it says, um, okay, well, excuse me. It, it's a, it's a, a synonymous. Pride is synonymous with this word. It says to be high, lofty, tall, to be exalted. That's why the scriptures say Judah's women uh, denounced. The announcing of their downfall, in other words. And it's happening, Jack. There's a spirit of, you know, men smelling the uh, coffee in the earth. A red pill energy that's sick and tired of uh, getting dominated and ran over by women, you know. But there's still a lot of simps out there as well. It says uh, to be lofty, uh, to be haughty, arrogant. Okay, so we get it. So check it out. It says, Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Judah are haughty. Yeah, they lift it up with uh, pride. And this kingdom have lift, you know, allowed them to uh, be lifted up. Or promoted them to be lifted up, you know, for being a, 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 a literal piece of shit. Not a literal piece of shit, but a proverbial piece of shit. You know, they the way they they, they the way they attitude is, the way their lifestyle is, uh, they the way they maintenance. They don't take care of shit. Now there may be a, a small group, but you know, the vast majority, I'm, that's what I'm speaking on. And walk with stretch forth, stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, meaning undisciplined eyes, batting their eyes at every fucking man they see or rolling their fucking eyes. How about that? Walking and mincing as they go, yeah, t uh, twitching and shit and making a tinkling with their feet. Yeah, with their ankle bracelets and shit of that nature. It says, and this is the so-called black woman all day. And it's really the modern woman, but she takes the cape. 
just like Jake, you know, the man, when they, you know, get into the jury, they get they wearing more when as far as the ones that got so called money. You know, they wear the most jewelry. They want to be seen and all this stuff, right? It says, therefore, the Lord will smite. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. Yeah, no matter how, you know, that, that curse has been on them since we've been in this uh, captivity. You know? And no matter how, how, they, how, how high they get up in society... Or you know, on a professional level, these jobs that they get in the political world or whatever they got, they don't have real hair. You can see both of them women, them political women, so to speak. Um, they that that was not their real hair, and the Lord would discover their secret parts. Okay, because they'll be um, walking around here with their body showing. For all men to see, you know, instead of, you know, being covered up. It says, in that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet. And that time is here, man. They losing. And they still got some fucking pride in them. They're still pride, you know. Believing in their status and, oh, I got this. And a lot of them, are, uh, so there's still some pride out there, but it's a lot of them that's saying, um, or some, I'm not going to say it's a lot. There's some that are saying, you know, I was all materialistic and into my career and um, they regret it. They going home to an empty house. They call empty nesters. I think it's called empty. Yeah, empty nesters. They don't have children. They don't have a husband. I'm sure they got different men. That they think us, you know, on their level or whatever, or not, that they let, you know, have fun with them, you know, and they regret, you know, not getting married or regret divorcing their husband, shit like that. Okay. It says, um, and their calls and their round tires like like moons. It says the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers. Y'all can go and look all this stuff up. Um, the bonnets. <laughs> I want to look that one up, but I'm gonna keep it moving. It says and the ornaments of the legs, and it's just how they dress. They come out with bonnets on their heads. You know they got this fake ass jewelry on, big earrings. This is what it's going into. It says um, and headbands and tablets and earrings and rings and nose jewels and now they the big thing is these fucking bull bull rings and they nose looking straight ridiculous it says the changeable suits of apparel and mantles and wimples and uh crispings crisping uh pins the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and veils Cause they in the fashion, right? The fucking black woman. She's a queen of uh, the yeah. She's the queen in its right definition of fashion. You know, you can see these women of the other nation, for the most part, I'll say. You know. You know they come out looking plain Jane, or with light makeup on. You know. I just here recently went to uh, Trader Joe's and the Whole Food, and you know the women in there look completely different. They were not fat, majority of them. They smell good, look good. Some of them was pretty, so no stomach. You know, they smiled. You see, and they wasn't all. They didn't have all this jewelry on and shit either. The beauty was in the, in their in their face and body, not in all that uh, uh, jewelry and, and changeable uh, attire. Isaiah three and twenty four, and it shall come to pass. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, Isaiah three and twenty four, and it shall come to pass that instead of instead of a sweet smell, there shall be stink. The majority of these so called black women, their boxes have a, a scent to it. 
some just stink flat out um they have smells and then and, and you know i'm speaking as a man <clears throat> and i say you can go find this in the, in the scriptures but uh you know i believe part of the reason is because of you know their horrible diet all the chemicals that they put in their head and you know uh, on their skin all the makeup they put on their face and definitely all the men that they let uh run up in them you know you see and you know, they got a smelly they um and some of them get musty breath stink <laughs> you know straight up the woman is supposed to make sure that does not happen but not judah or not the, the nigga woman it says and instead of a girdle rent yeah they stomachs hanging over they damn um uh, what they supposed to have a uh <laughs> see they they supposed to have a um dress on you know a long dress okay but now they bellies is hanging over they whatever they wearing you know they wearing pants they got belly they got uh what they call it inner tubes they got uh pouches they got more uh it's called booty do they have more uh stomach how's it go uh, it's called it's, it's something to the effect this is some you know you ain't this is not a common saying this is like an inside thing they um uh, stomach stick out farther than they booty do <laughs> you know <laughs> just a little joke but that's the truth you know they stomach stick out further than they booty do they got more stomach than butt and you know they gave they got these big nasty butts because the, most of them are fat all right it says instead of a well set instead of well set hair baldness and instead of a stomacher a girdle of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty it's a lot of ugly you know so-called black women and i think that woman uh fanny uh willis she's ugly in my opinion you know and then it says um uh, that's pretty much it on that. Uh, but going back to the 18th verse, he says, In that day the Lord will take away, yeah, in this last, in these days that we're in right now, the Lord will take away the the, uh, the bravery of their uh, tinkling ornaments about their feet. Let me look up this word bravery. So they, hold on, let me uh, get the word real quick. Bravery. So they gonna be two time uh losers. I'm talking about them two women, you know. They being uh exposed um for fraud and stealing money, right? They're supposed to be classy professional women. We find out they ain't no better than Keisha and Big Shirley. So this for the word uh bravery H uh 85. All right, I believe you pronounced this uh, Hebrew word, thapa, thapa, ra. Or it's, uh, excuse me, uh, thapa, a, ra. Thapa, a, ra. Okay. All right, so let's go here. It says beauty splendor glory beauty now check it out when the time of jacob's trouble come all all these curses that they've been uh, undergoing are going to intensify dramatically they're going to be uglier they're going to be smellier okay and the one thing they're not going to be fatter because food will be food is going to be scarce so they may lose a few pounds. Okay. And this is just like Esau. We bringing out that Esau ain't, ain't shit. We announcing that, you know, Eve has been able to do her wickedness. And uh, get a pat on the back for it. 
and get shown sympathy and uh allowed to uh play the victim when she's done all kind of wicked shit and now it's being announced that no you gotta pay for all the shit you're doing now it's time to pay up and they are paying they don't have a man they miserable they're more miserable than ever and this is all before you know the time of jacob's trouble you know these women are gonna be a bad sad uh case man i'm gonna end the video right there because i can keep rambling and going on about this but i watched that video with that woman um the uh the da lady uh fanny willis and that's what uh inspired me to do this video man the so-called black woman like the apostles say stay away man they are uh they're despicable all right lord willing this video was edifying and until the next one i say shalom